Hey OS 11 Universe, it's Xander and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Last time we finished off the Elite Four and this time we're heading on to have our final battle in the main story. The final battle on our path to becoming Sinnoh League Champion. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet and for the Distortion World. I'm truly grateful. Together you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. That's enough talk. Let's get on with how you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. That's right, Cynthia is the champion, and don't don't deny it. You've had a crush on her at some point in your life. I know I have. When I was younger. Now it's swapped from crush to more of a highly respect, I suppose would be the word. She's also the spirit tomb. I've sent out Brandon. Brandon can uh, attack quickly and hit hard if I need him to. So the thing that worries me is Cynthia is unlike all other bosses. She's allowed substitutions in her battle. What the hell? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you let her get a critical hit? Okay, it seems now this is my third take of this fight, I'm not gonna lie. I've just two crits in a row. I already feel like I'm gonna have to throw this take out. Wow, I'm surprised she's not using a full restore on it, she usually does. Well, we got rid of her first Pokemon without too much of a hitch. So that's good. But she has one Pokemon. I only have three revives and five Hyper Potions left. Oh, this is what I was worried about. Togekiss. We'll keep battling for now. If things look dicey, Brandon will come back out. The flying normal type is the final evolution of Togepi. What's gonna have the Brave Bird? See what happens. Very bulky Pokemon, but we did some decent damage to it. It has Shockwave. Of course it has Shockwave. Why wouldn't it have Shockwave? Can we survive that? No. Oh, wait, we did. That's a surprise. Alright, Twitter, time for a double KO like you did last time. Same thing you did to Blade. Good job. Double KO. But now she's down too as well. And I don't think I'm going to need Twitter for anything else this fight. Now here's the problem. I don't know what she's sending out next, so I'm going to take a guess and go with War Slug. War Slug's pretty much universally covering. Okay, Lucario. War Slug can do some stuff to Lucario. As long as War Spirit doesn't one shot, which she very well might. Find out. No, wow, War Slug is tanking that. It's a Mud Bomb. That will also lower its accuracy, I believe. Not that that really meant. Oh my god, is War Slug about to tank this Lucario? This Lucario has ended my run against her in the last two takes that I've done. Holy oh crap, War Slug! War Slug! You beautiful, beautiful thing! I can kiss you! Get a Roserade up next. Keep battling, time to use one of those revives. Definitely gonna need it with a Roserade. Kinda surprised it went for extra sensory. Not gonna lie. Better get back out here and sacrifice yourself again, please. Thank you. Time for sacrifice play. Great bird again. Game, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please. 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 Oh my god, yes. 
she's down to three. Milo to keep battling. She's down to two! What? That's right! From Diamond and Pearl to Platinum. She swaps. She gets Roserade, and she gets rid of Gastrodon. She used to have a pink Gastrodon. But she swapped it for, my, for uh, Roserade in this game. Is that better type coverage? I totally forgot about that. Because this is what I was hoping we'd have Brandon to deal with. But now... Ah, uh, Twitter. Took himself out there. Yeah, having Ice Beam worries me, because I want Walden to try and do something to it. Ares, give it all you got. I want everyone participating in this final battle. We'll see Walden in a minute. But now... Here comes my biggest problem with her. Guard Shaw. Her ace in the hole. This has swept my whole team multiple times now. I can't remember the last time I was with a corner like this. It's a dragon and ground type. I think it has levitate for the ability as well. Crunch. It's got Flamethrower, it's got Dragon Tail, it's got Giga Impact, and it's got Earthquake. Needless to say, it will F you up. We're not going to survive it this time, and I know that. Rapid. She's still got two full restores in her back pocket if she needs them. And if we get Garchomp even remotely close to red, she's gonna break them out both times. someone. And I think that someone's going to be War Slug, because War Slug seems to be the only thing that can tank hits for anything in this fight. Dragon Rush, not Dragon Tail, excuse me. And there's a reason I've just done what I've done. Go, War Slug. The Slug of War is now on the battlefield. Time for our last revive on Rapid. It could not take a Dragon Rush. Ares is going to get one shot by Flamethrower or Earthquake. It doesn't really matter. Hyper Potion. Fully Hill Rapid. There's Earthquake. shot was coming. It's now or never. It's now or never. Oh, come on! Champion. 
Rampant, I want to hug you. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power. And you guided them with certain certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me. We'll take the lift. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the luckiest attempt I've had. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Xander, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. The child I enlisted for my Pokédex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Xander, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Xander, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, please join us. It's been a long while since I've entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Xander, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What are you leaving, or what you're leaving? are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. The machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Brandon the Electivire. We got it as an egg. Our starter, Walden the Torterra. Our second egg hatchling, Ares the Lucario. Last minute edition, Rapid the Glaceon. Earliest Pokemon we caught, Twitter the Star Raptor. And finally, War Slug, the tank, the Gastrodon. Welcome to the Hall of Fame team. Oh, Aw, poor, poor Ares. We did it. I know I sound like it's underwhelming, but it's one of those things where it's so overwhelming that I don't think one of my over-the-top screaming reactions is justified anymore. That was definitely the hardest fought battle I've had in the Pokemon Let's Play. And we're not even done. It's it's a Pokemon game. Of course there's more to do. We haven't even seen Pokemon from our past adventures. I said I was going to do as much as I could to complete the, the national decks. And I promise. I think I can legitimately complete it. With the exception of one Pokemon. And since we're in the credits now, I'll say that one Pokemon is Deoxys. Because there's no way to get it anymore legitimately. I have a legitimate Celebi, I have a legitimate Jirachi, I have legitimate access to a lot of the Pokemon in Generation 4. There's one that, yes, I will technically be cheating to get, but at the same time, I do have access to a legitimate one, but I think the way I'm going to do it's a lot more fun. I cannot believe it. And this is my final Let's Play of 2019 as well. We have a lot more Legendaries to catch. We still have 14 more Legendary Pokemon to catch. Four of them are Roamers, so that's going to be real fun. Not looking forward to it in the slightest. But at the same time, I am. I know that makes very little sense, but... What it kind of is, is, um, 
it means I get to keep the Let's Play going. We still have a Pokédex to fill out, guys. We still, we're still we about to see how many we've seen and caught. There's 210 to, cat to see. I think we've seen 165. Cynthia showed us three new ones in Milotic, uh, in Milotic, um, Togekiss, and well, she only shows two new ones. It would have been three if we hadn't seen Spiritomb, excuse me. But we still have a lot to see. We still have a lot to do. Cynthia, that final one went down to the wire. Had Ice Fang missed again, like it did when Dragon Tech, when Dragon Rush missed, and then Ice Fang missed, that would have been it. We would have lost. That's the key here, we didn't lose. Just wow, is all I can say. Finish. It's not over, though. It's not over. You know what they say, it ain't over till the fat lady sings, and, uh... We got plenty more to do. So thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Platinum. If you liked the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the series so far. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, it's easy, it loves me out. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Where that 185. Lord help me. Is going to become 210. Because... We gotta see Printplop. We gotta see Cricketoon. See if I can name all 25 that we're missing. We gotta see Wormadam. We gotta see Ambipom. Gengar. Happini. Pichu. Whooper. Beats me. Finneon. Feebass. Uh, seriously, no idea there. Can't tell you what that one is. I know what it is, but I'm not going to spoil it. We got to see a Gardevoir. We got to see Vaporeon. We got to see Umbreon. We got to see Leafeon. We got to see Togetic. We gotta see Yanma. We've gotta see Rhydon and Rhyhorn. We gotta see Dusclops. We gotta see Porygon 1 and 2. 
We've got a lot to say. I'll see you all tomorrow. Xander out. <laughs>